Welcome to the show today. On, on the show today, I want to ask you a question. Do you have a favorite Disney animated movie? Like out of all the Disney movies you've watched in your lifetime, if you saw old movies, new movies, way back as far as when they started, Snow White was in 1937. I was born in 1957, but I saw Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But it's a movie that Disney, their very first animated cartoon-like movie, animated is what they say. Let's not use cartoon, okay? Their very first animated movie Disney had was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I love that one. It was really good. And then in 1940, 1940 let's speak properly, blah, 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 Pinocchio. And then 1940 also was Fantasia, the first one. And then the ones I remember watching, I'm going to tell you, were Dumbo. I saw Snow White and Pinocchio. Man, Pinocchio made me cry because he wanted to be a boy and he was a puppet. But then uh, Dumbo, Bambi was scary to me, but I loved it. Cinderella and Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Never Never Land, Peter Pan. He didn't want to grow up, he, and it was Never Never Land because you have to grow up. But some of us don't. I waited for years to grow up. I was very immature most of my life. So Peter Pan was a good one. Lady and the Tramp, they're eating spaghetti, the two dogs. Cocker Spaniel Lady, so beautiful. Sleeping Beauty, she fell asleep until the prince kissed her. 101 Dalmatians with Cruella, she was the evil woman. And sword, The Sword in the Stone, I remember that. The Jungle Book, I watched that one. The Aristocats, I saw that one. The Little Mermaid cartoon came out in 1989. I saw that one a couple times with my grandchildren and I love that. But my very, very favorite Disney animation movie is, drumroll, Beauty and the Beast. Came out in 1991. My oldest daughter was 11 in 1991, and my youngest daughter was 8 in 1991. And I wanted to go see it. How old was I then? In my 30s. And I wanted to see this movie so bad, this animated Beauty and the Beast. So we went to the theater there at the mall where I lived at the time in Pennsylvania. And they sat three rows behind me. They said, I am not sitting with you, Mom, because we know, we know what's going to happen. And yes, I was weeping. I was sobbing at the end of that movie because I just love it. I love the story. I love what happened, that the beast changed and turned into this first he, the... She came as an old lady, and then he got the curse because he was so rude and cruel. And uh, But after he learned his lesson, he was no longer a beast. His heart especially, not just his looks, but his heart. He wasn't a beast anymore. It's my favorite all-time Disney animation, animation movie is Beauty and the Beast. came out in 1991. Then there was Aladdin. The Lion King, my second favorite in 1994 that I saw with a lot of the kids that I used to work at school age, child care after school, and we watched it then, when uh, Mufasa does what he does, and the song, I just can't wait to be king. And then Pocahontas, I love that one. Hercules in 1997 was good. Tarzan, Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, Cars, Moana came out in 2016. I just wrote down the ones I saw and I really liked, but my very, very favorite is Beauty and the Beast. And the song Moana sang, How Far I'll Go. That's such a nice song. I love it. So uh, some of my favorites. But what is your favorite? Do you have a favorite Disney animated movie? I sure do. And it is Beauty and the Beast. Well, because he changes and then not the Belle's so gorgeous, but she's beautiful and... Uh, her heart, especially. Her heart. And when I sing on here on uh, YouTube, it's not because I think I have a great voice or that I'm the best dancer when I dance in the world, because I don't. I have a very mediocre voice, and I, my dancing is very average, but I love to do it, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm trying to enjoy the rest of my life and have some fun, you know? That's what I'm trying to do. So, um, Beauty and the Beast, when I see that movie, and then when... Um, the guy that likes Belle. 
Gaston. Gaston! Gaston! He thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. And he's the one who tries to kill the beast, and he ends up falling. And yeah, I know the original story wasn't exactly like that. And I know I even watched a, a Beauty and the Beast. It was named, I think, something in the Beauty... Anyway, a movie on uh, YouTube that I saw where um, the beauty turns into a deer and he even shoots her with a bow and arrow at the end, the beast or something like that. But it's the same type of story of Beauty and the Beast. And I just thought that was pretty cool, but different, I guess, is the right word. But the Beauty and the Beast um, and the movie then when um, he sings Evermore. I forgot the guy's name now. Steven somebody, but he sings evermore. I love that song too. I'm going to try to sing that one today. And Mrs. Potts, Beauty and the Beast. I love that. And then all the things in the in the castle where he lived originally before he turned into the beast are animated living. And then the movie came out, I'm, I'm not sure, 11 years ago when Belle was the girl that was in Harry Potter. Belle, that girl, I can't remember her name, and then I can see the guy that played the beast and saying, was it Stephen, his last name, Stephen? I should have wrote that down, because I looked at it, but I can't remember it. Stephen, let's try to find it up here. It's not coming up. Dan Stevens, his voice, I love it. I know that... Um, I can't think of the guy that sang it after him. One of my favorite opera singers. Um, Josh Groban. I love him too. I often wish I could sing like one of them. Not like a guy, but I mean, just the good voice that they have. And, you know, I can't, but I love singing. And I'm going to keep singing, dancing, making music. Because I can play piano, so half too. And just making music and singing, dancing, making music, just having fun and living the rest of my life, enjoying it. And I hope you're having a great day and that you are uh, liking, subscribing, and enjoying my music and singing and whatever, whatever fun and wild and fun and things I do. So it's the end of the show. Have a wonderful day.